muscles together. Pull upon your thigh muscles, sucking your tummy. <laughs> yeah, go with the flow, your body's tight. There might be a reason that she's asking for it. So relax the shoulders away from your ears and let's begin. Inhale for one inhale. So as you inhale, float your elbows all the way up to the ceiling until your forearms frame your gorgeous face. Now open your mouth and let your head go back. As your head goes back, your eyes, they're really wide open. Your mouth is really wide open and the shoulders are down, relax them and please bring your elbows, touch them together. And again, you inhale your pranayama. And when you inhale your pranayama, get the weight all the way back in your heels, your chin is down. Inhale one more beautiful breath at the top. And then again, you let it go. And when you let it go, you're exhaling all of the old stale air out, any old thoughts that you do not need, exhale them all out as you squeeze your elbows together and again inhale your pranayama. And the immediately flaring open of your elbows, crack your knuckles open, knuckles underneath your chin, inhale one more breath. And again, would you let it go? When you let it go, your eyes are wide open, so is your mouth, relax them. And please, would you bring your elbows and just squeeze them together really, really high. And again, you inhale your prana, your pranayama, and the chin is down, you're floating your elbows up and you inhale a little bit more, one more beautiful breath. And again, would you let it go? And when you let it go, look along the ceiling, open your eyes and open your mouth. Remember, you want your spine perfectly straight position. Shoulders are down, squeeze your elbows together. And again, inhale your pranayama. And keep the weight back in the heels, guys, as you inhale more. I'm looking for the clock to go to, to the two minutes. Inhale one more breath. And again, would you let it go? And this is the last one of your first set as you relax the shoulders. And please, would you bring your elbows together to squeeze at the end? Excellent. Let your arms float down by your side. What I do is first set, I get two minutes. And the second set, I go for two and a half to three. Again, toes together, heels together, pull up on your thighs, tummy's tight, interlock your fingers, knuckles underneath your chin, relax your shoulders, see how quick that was, the setup. And again, inhale for one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six at the top. It's number six, and five, and four, and three, and bring your elbows together. Now again, inhale. As you inhale, rock the weight back in the heels. Make sure your thigh muscles are contracted, weights in the heels. Your toes are still tucked in the ground, go guys. As you inhale, one more beautiful breath. And again, you let it go. Your legs look very beautiful, Amber. Very, very strong, very activated, beautiful, my will. As you relax the shoulders and please, would you bring your elbows and you squeeze them together so high. And again, you inhale your pranayama. And as you inhale, and it's not that you're argumentative at all, Will, I don't feel argumentative at all. Inhale one more beautiful breath at the top. And again, you let it go. You're just one of those people that it needs to add up. Two and two need to make four. Five won't do for you. That's what's going on. As you bring your elbows and you squeeze them together. And again, you inhale your pranayama. But you know, guys, this inner understanding, because we all know what's the truth. And we all know what's a blatant lie, but they're trying to get us to say it's the truth and it's not one more breath. And again, you let it go. You never internally agree to that. You never agree when somebody's telling you something that you can with your own eyes see that that is not the case. And you squeeze your elbows together. And again, you inhale your pranayama and you get the weight back in the heels and the chin is down. Always guys, they're trying to change the narrative. Even the one more breath at the top. And again, you let it go. They don't even call death dead anymore or death. It's now passed over, passed away because they're changing the narrative. As you relax the shoulders and you squeeze your elbows together. And again, you inhale your pranayama. And so when you hear the word dead or death, it gives your body a certain jolt because words have power. Inhale one more breath at the top and again you let it go. Pass does not mean the same. Pass could mean I passed my exam. I, it could mean anything, but it does not mean past. It does not mean dead. Bring your elbows and you squeeze them together so high and again you inhale. We're at 54. We've got another minute to go. And it's less than a minute, so I'm keeping my eyes on the clock. Stretch your elbows up. Inhale one more beautiful breath at the top. And again, you let it go. 
you must trust your own eyes and your own ears and the way you work things out no matter what the narrative is squeeze your elbows together and again you inhale your pranayama and now at the 55 so i'll say this is the last one and you keep inhaling keep inhaling stretch the side of your muscles the intercostal muscles one more breath boom you let it go your spine is straight your eyes are open you look along the ceiling and please would you bring your elbows together to squeeze at the end excellent let your arms float down by your side and you breathe let's do ardha ardha sandrasana half moon pose so please inhale with energy your arms above your head and padastasana hand to feet pose please reach up touch this interlock your fingers release your index glue this together straight elbow straight knees touch the ceiling and stretch out your bodies from side to side knowing every time you come through the middle you're trying to touch the ceiling for three and for two and for one please come stop in the middle now get the weight back in the heel, suck your tummy tight, bum, straight elbow, straight knees, reach up as high as you can. And then rainbow over in a perfectly straight line towards the right hand side of the room and you breathe. Now any, everybody, rather than going to your usual posture, I want you to pull your tummy muscles in tight. I want you to tighten your bum as well. That's works in the lower spine. And now push your left hip over your left ankle and push your knees. Push the knees, that's a little bit more amber. They're really quite straight right now. Push the knees, yes, Will. That's the feeling, push the knees a little bit more, Ma. The upper body's very, very bent, but the legs are not moving that much yet. So push your hips a little bit more. Everybody go for the hips first and your upper body will line up. As you come down, very good, Aileen. Three, two, done. Inhale as you come up. Even if you distort it, guys, and you go in the fingers, you know where you saw my feet lift up? It was a distortion but it was to help you get the energy in the right way, touch the ceiling. Over you go in a perfectly straight line and it's instantly push your right above your right ankle. That's the season. That's it, um, Aileen, but more. And you breathe. Yes, Christine. You get the weight back in the heels. Push your left hip, a right hip, a little bit more over your right ankle, a little bit more Lily. Push it to the right, push it to the bookcase, a little bit more to the side. Feel the stretch, feel the opening down the whole of the right hand side of your body. It's lovely, Katia. Right arm, you always get it straight. And so does Brian, right armpit forward, left it forward. And your um, left knee, Barbie, is bending. Don't let your left knee bend and come down if you want to. Three, two, done. Breathe out. Very good, Aileen. Okay. Hips and tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up and drop your head back. Now inhale the biggest breath of air. Lift your chest up and begin to take your arms back to where your ears are. That's the dialogue, hips, tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up and take your arms back to where your ears are. Now, if your eyes, if your fingertips are below where your eyes are looking, then look for the fingertips further and go back, breathe back. And the only way you get to look for your fingertips is your armpits are opening up. Straighten your elbows a little bit more, that's it, Lily. And you go back a little bit more with Amber and go back, breathe back, go back. Yes, season, one more breath. Inhale as you come up long, suck in your tummy. Bend your knees if you need to. And come down, straight spine. And get your hands on the floor. And wiggle your hips from side to side until the lower spine feels loose and comfy and easy, relax. Then bend your knees a lot. Lay your belly on your thighs, lay your chest on the knees, reach around, grab your heels from behind. Step on all your fingers and your thumb, get the weight in the toes, begin to lift your hips up into the air and you breathe. So what I have to tell you, you follow whatever you think is argumentative, it's not, it actually isn't. It's just, you do not just accept things, which is excellent. Get the weight in the toes and pull, lift your hips up into the air and pull, wrap the elbows around the calf muscles and pull, contract your thigh muscles, slide your forehead down the shins and you pull, lift your hips up into the air, pull one more breath. And then inhale, see if you can come up with your arms with your ears. Excellent, and let your arms float down, take a breath. Let go of absolutely everything. And you breathe, standing Shavasana. And second set. Inhale your arms up over your head. Interlock your fingers, release your index, glue this together, straight elbow, straight knees. Now really guys, reach up with the height that you can get as high as you can, and then rainbow over in a perfectly straight line towards the right. Now you're coming down as if you're in between two very, very skinny panes of glass. Get your right armpit forward. Bring your left hip forward. Aileen, this is fabulous. 
you're pushing your hips over your knees so much Aileen it's incredible baby Amber see if you can move them a little bit more Lily see if you can move them a little bit more yes Barbie but straighten out your right knee and you've got it season yes Katia yes Christine and you're holding it push the hips a little bit more those of you I've told to a little bit more to the right left I mean push a little bit more push a little bit more and chain inhale as you come up straight elbow straight knees touch the ceiling and now over you go in a perfectly straight line towards the left. And don't lead with your body, Amber, lead with your hip. Because we know the body can go all the way, but the hip's not doing it yet. This one's better, Lily. This one's better. So pull your tummy muscles in. This one's gorgeous um, season. Push your right tip over your right ankle. It's looking better, Amber. Breathe. Yes, Will. Straighten your elbow, straighten your knees, tighten your bum, suck your tummy, straight knees, Barbie. The right one's, but the left one's bending again. Make it really straight. And now push hips a little bit more and hold it as you breathe and hold it where you stay. Gorgeous, Aileen. Change. Inhale as you come up. Reach up, touch the ceiling, and then hips, tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up and look back, go back. Look back, more back. Go back a little bit more back, way back. Keep on lifting your chest up. Have that feeling that somebody has got their hands underneath your heart, behind your heart, on your back, behind your heart, on your back. And it's pushing that part of your back up. And it's pushing that part of your back up. And your head is just dropping back like it's falling off a waterfall. Hips and tummy, thighs forward. Chest is lifted up, lovely Barbie. And you look back, go back, arm back, more back, go back, breathe back, way back. Go back a little bit more back, go back, more back. Go back, breathe back, way back. Yes, Christine, go back. More back, way back, go back, more back, breathe back. One more breath. <laughs> Inhale as you come up. That was a back bend, Christine, stunning. Suck your tummy, bend your knees. Come down the straight spine. And get your hands on the floor. And wiggle your hips from side to side until the lower spine feels loose and comfy and easy and relaxed. Okay, bend your knees, get your belly on your legs, tummy and your, your chest on the knees, reach around, grab your heels from behind, all fingers facing the same direction as your toes, especially as a teacher, wrap the elbows around the calf muscles, clamp your body onto your legs. Now get the weight in the toes without releasing that clamp. Lift your hips into the air. Body stays on the legs. Lift your hips into the air. Elbows stay bent. Weight into the toes. Contract your thigh muscles. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, push the knees back into the space. Yes, Amber. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, push the knees back into the space. Inhale, lift your hips up, get the weight in the toes again, that front part of your feet. That's the strongest part of your feet. And to stop you from falling over, it's got to be strong. Pull, 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 one breath. Inhale as you come up. And let your arms float down and take a breath and let go of everything. Bye, baby, especially you. When you're ready, my beloved, look down at your feet and take a six inch step to the right and hide your heels behind your toes. Make sure your feet look like the number 11. Inhale, your arms up to center and drop your shoulders down deep away from your ears and suck in your tummy. Inhale, breathing, boom, sit down on your chair. Now, in the original dialogue, they would see, you say your feet look like the letter H, but I couldn't understand there was no bar in the middle, which is why I went to the number 11. You drop your shoulders away from your ears and keep on sitting down. Now, Barbie, what I want you to feel is your spine curling up to the ceiling and back and the shoulders coming down. Bottom is sticking out behind your fantastic belly, Katia. As you sit down, one more breath and change. Very good, Will. Rock right up onto your toes as high as you can. Your belly is amazing, Katia. Straighten out your legs a lot to start with. Inhale, breathing. And crack your knees a little bit, right to your forward. Rock into the toes, that's it, season. Don't let the knees go wobbling around and bowing in and out. Right big toe into the floor, very, very good Barbie, left toe. And both heels and both heels, lift them up, lovely Amber. And then you're going to bring the hips down. One day your thighs will be parallel to the floor, but you're behind your toes. Right heel again, left heel again, both heels, both heels, both heels, both heels, both heels. And change. Please, would you bring your knees together to touch? Lift your heels a little bit. Suck in your tummies. Slide down your cool marble wall, squeezing your knees all the way. That's your point of contact. And this is what keeps the knees very, very strong, safe and healthy, I mean, because they're pushed into each other. So it's not like a knee can spin out and go wrong. If you're not all the way down, bend forward and get your hands on the floor because you need to be able to hover. Lift up your heels, Will. That's it. Keep on sitting down. Bend the knees more. Keep your hands on the ground, Will. Keep your hands on the ground. Yeah, for a moment. That's it. Excellent, Will. And change. Inhale as you come up. Squeeze your knees all the way. 
Remember, it's very hard to sit an inch or two off your heels. To sit four inches, piece of cake. Second set. Look down at your feet because they've got no brain. Take six inch steps to the right. Hide your heels behind your toes. Inhale your arms up to center. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Suck in your tummy. Inhale, breathing. And sit on a chair. Now, when you sit on a chair, what happens is a lot of people, the weight goes into the knees and the knees go over the toes. So have a look and see if you can see your big toe joint. If you cannot, then just keep sitting back a little bit. Yes, Lily, keep sitting back a little bit. Now, the ideal posture is you're sitting back all the way and you're really, really reaching forward with your hands to keep the balance. But in the last few seconds, lift your body up. It's lovely, Amber. Lift your upper body up at the end and change. Very good season. Rock right up onto your toes as high as you can. Straighten out your legs a lot to start with. Inhale, breathing, and crack your knees a little bit. Right heel forward, left heel forward. Right heel forward, left heel forward. And both heels forward, both heels forward. Yes, Amber. And now, Amber, keep pushing into the feet and come down more. Come down more if you're ready, Will. Right heel now, come down more, Lily. Come down more, Lily. Lift up the heels, right heel, and sit down, sit down, Lily, because you can. Sit down, sit down, a little bit more, Lily. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Done. Excellent, Lily. Keep your feet where they are. Don't move them. Bring your knees together to touch. Lift heels a tad. Suck in your tummy. And now slide down your cool marble wall, squeezing the knees all the way. Brilliant for the inside of your thighs, brilliant for the outside of the thighs. Coming all the way down, put your hands on the floor. If your hips are not an inch off your heels, then lift your hands up into place. Squeeze your knees. Now, those of you who know your knees and they're strong and healthy, bounce. One, two, three. If you bounce here, Will, bounce, 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 bounce. Stop on the up bounce. Inhale, breathing, and push the floor away. Excellent. Feet together, arms down. Take a breath, let go, and you breathe. Let's do Garuda, Garudasana. We're going to open the 40 major joints in your body. So please inhale your arms up over your head. See which is the right, which is the left. Swing your right arm underneath your left arm. Cross your forearms, thumbs towards your face. Interlock your fingers and pull your elbows down. I want your fingers an inch below your nose and an inch away. Sit down. Pick up your right leg and as high as you can, would you wrap it and coil it and bend it and squeeze it around the left one? Lovely, Lily. Lift your body up. Yes, Ma. Now, Ma, move your knees a little bit to the right, Ma. Yes. Bring the left hip forward. Hip left hip. Very, very good season. Very good, Katia. Lift your body up. Good for you, Barbie. And change. Very good. Arms over your head. And swing the left underneath your right. Cross your forearms, some towards your face. Pull your elbows down. Sit down deep, but out, chest up. And pick up your left leg and wrap it and coil it and bend it and squeeze it. Squeeze your thighs as much as you can, and then lift your body up. Wrist, elbows, knees, ankles, all in one straight line down the center of your body. If you've got slips, you're gonna sit down. If you're losing the balance, keep lifting your upper body up at the end and change. See, I use different dialogue for each side. Arms over your head, and again, swing the right underneath your left. Pull the elbows down, fingers an inch away from your nose, and an inch below, thumbs facing your face. Sit down, butt out, chest up. Pick up your right leg and wrap it and coil it and bend it around the left one. If you're lucky enough to have five toes visible in the front mirror, then point those toes down towards the ankle. However, if you've not got the thighs to fill, it doesn't matter. As long as you squeeze your thighs on top of each other as much as you can, you get 100% benefits. Perfect posture, Will. And change. Lovely season. Arms over your head. And last time, go. Left underneath the right. Pull the elbows down. Remember, when you pull the elbows down, the left elbow is underneath, so you're going to feel it in the right shoulder. Pick up your right left leg and wrap and coil and bend. What I've noticed now is that because I'm in a hot room, it's easier to open the fascia. The connective tissue, the fascia, works easier in the hot room. So I'm really pulling the elbows down. And now both shoulders don't feel strain. I'm just feeling it in the fascia. Lift your body up a little bit, um, Barbie, by squeezing your thighs. Move your knees a little bit to the left. Bring the right hip forward. Lovely cat here. Sit down one more breath. And change. Excellent, guys. Arms over your head. Let them float down. And please have a drink of your water. Okay. Straighten out your left leg, contract your left thigh muscle, round over and please pick up your right foot and interlock your fingers and your thumb below the toes. Next time we have a chance to talk, 
I'm going to tell you about Buddha bows. Straighten the leg that you're standing on. Straighten the leg. Dig your big left toe down hard into the ground. Okay, we're like 15, 16, 17 seconds in. If you're feeling it, inhale, exhale, and kick your right heel forward towards the screen. Very good legs, very good feet, Will. Big toe into the floor, mouth. That's it, baby. Just that big toe into the floor. Now, all of you that kicked out, drop your heel half an inch so your heel is in line with your right hip. Keep kicking through that right hip. Now, pull your toes back, yes, and begin to bend your elbows down. The stability of this posture is in your big toe and where you are looking. Now, if you're ready and your elbows go below the plane of the calf muscle, just cast your eyes to the floor gently. Find your balance. Once you've got that stunning cat here, four to your knee, five, four, three, yes, Lily. Yes, Amber, two, one, done. Take a breath, let go and breathe. And Katia, your forehead to your knee, holding that posture in the full expression, you did for a third of the posture, just so you know. That was fantastic, babe. A third of the posture is doing forward to the knee, and she just stay, 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 stay. Straighten out your right, sucking your tummy round over, and pick up your left. Interlock your fingers under your thumb, you know, in the ball of your foot. I love that. Straighten the knee. Straighten the knee, big dig, you're big. Right toe down hard into the ground, contract your thigh muscle. So your right knee lifts up. Your right thigh muscle must be really tight and hard. If your right leg is locked, solid concrete, you have no knee, inhale, exhale, and kick your left heel forward. Once you kick your left heel forward, you want a perfectly straight back, two straight arms and two straight legs, beautiful. Keep kicking through that left hip and pulling your toes back. Very good, Barbie. Now, if you're ready, begin to bend your elbows down. You only bend the elbows and you've got two straight legs. This is very strong, Barbie. Once the elbows go below the plane, the calf muscles are getting lower, Amber. They're getting lower. Now, gently just cast your eyes to the ground, those of you that are nearly there. And then you're going to get your chin into your throat. Now, hold it, Amber. You did good. You hold it. You got it, Katty. You hold it, Lily. Hold it, Lily. Hold it, Lily. Done. Take a breath. Yeah, that little back bend that Katty has done is quite useful sometimes. Give yourself that little squeeze because you're going deep. And let's do the other side. Straighten out your right, left leg, suck on your tummy round over and pick up your foot. As soon as I've seen them pick up the foot, I kick the clock on. And now I'm going to teach 20 seconds of straightening your left leg. And most of the people you teach, unless they've been doing it a while, will have a left leg. So you're taking their energy to the left leg and they're straightening it. And you're making sure their big left toe is ground down hard into the floor. And you ask them to lock the knee, to straighten the knee. Now you're 20 seconds. Inhale, exhale, and kick your right heel forward. Once you kick your right heel forward, your legs should look like an upside down L. For you, Ma, if you just lift the heel up a little bit when you first start. No, it's very good, Ma. You, you nailed this a lot. Pull your toes back as hard you can towards your face, everybody. Stay there for a moment. Okay, now you're 40 seconds in. Now round the elbows down. So rather than the back going down, Amber, I want the elbows, elbows, elbows. I want the elbows first and the back to follow. And you kind of do the back first and let the elbows follow. Now, when you get your chin into your throat and you can get your forehead to your knee, and you lovely Amber, for five and four, for three and two, and done. And as long as you start ended up on one leg, you get 100% benefits. Every stage of this, 100%. Straighten out your right leg. Sucking your tummy round over and pick up your left foot. And interlock your fingers under your thumb below the toes and straighten your knee. Remember, you're straightening that knee. Lock solid concrete, one piece, you have no knee. Your knees lock solid, unbroken. Dig your big right toe into the ground. Now you inhale, exhale, 17 seconds, 18 seconds, kick. Your left heel forward. Once you kick your left heel forward, straighten your arms, straighten the leg, lovely straight back. Sucking your tummy. Hold it there and now kick forward and begin to bend your elbows. Keep kicking as you're bending your elbows. Get the elbows in nice and tight so they can begin to squeeze your calf muscles so you know where you are. 40 seconds in. Now, gently, you've got 20 seconds. Look at the ground, gently. When you find the ground, hold it there. Then gently, get your chin into your throat and your forehead to your knee and you hold it, Ma, you hold it, Lily. You hold it, yes, you hold it, three, two, done. Well done.
Well done. Okay, guys. Toes and heels together to touch. Standing bow pulling posture. Bend your right elbow into the waist, palm facing up. Let your hand go down and pick up the foot from the inside. Touch your knees together. Inhale with energy, your left arm up, really high, right far back behind your head. Keep your upper body lifted, inhale breathing, guys. And begin to kick your right leg directly back, not out to the right hand side, directly back. As you kick your right leg directly back, allow your right shoulder to stretch back with the kicking of your leg. This kicking of your leg is going to be opposed by how much you are lifting your left fingertips up to the top of your mirror, to the top of the ceiling. And you kick the leg back a little bit more. You are halfway. You're kicking so hard. You're beginning to pull. It's stunning catch. It's stunning season. Both of your shoulders in one line from the side. So you, Aileen, just tip the right hip down a little bit. Bring your arm closer. Lovely amber. And you keep on kicking. So, guys, we're on the home straights now. We've got another 10 seconds. So if you've fallen out, you can come back in. But what you're going to do is kick Katia until the foot comes over the top of your head. Now touch your chin to the shoulder. There it goes, Katia and Lily for five with Amber for three, two, done. And breathe. And breathe. What happens is when the knee goes out to the side, the arm goes out to the opposite side to balance it. When you get the knee in, the arm can come in. Left elbow into the waist, palm facing up. Let your hand go down and pick up the foot. Touch your knees together. Inhale with energy, your right arm up. Inhale, breathing, keep your arm right by your ear, right by your head. And now directly begin to kick the leg back and don't lose the sense of where your right arm is. Keep it right by your head and kick the leg directly back, directly back, directly back behind you. And as you kick the leg back, pigeon brush your chest, Pitch and brush your chest as you kick, 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 pulling your left shoulder completely behind the right one in the screen. It is normal to fall out of posture. When you fall out, you come straight back in. Now, as you kick a little bit harder, you should begin to feel the foot coming up over the top of your head. Once you feel that, begin to bring your left shoulder towards your chin, right shoulder towards your chin, lovely amber. Touch it in the shoulder, great leg will. And you kick up the leg a little bit more. There you go, Aileen, for five. Kick it up for four with, with Catty. Three, two, one, done. Catch it, gorgeous. And take a breath. And take a breath. Left elbow in the waist, palm facing up. Right elbow, let your hand go down. Right elbow, let your hand go down and pick up the foot. How do I know? Because everybody did the right elbow except one and me. Inhale with energy, left arm up and me. Inhale breathing. Do I care? What are we? Don't even care one little bit. Inhale breathing. Begin to kick the leg back behind you and lift your body up. Lift your body up, lift your body up. That's it, Katia. Even your chin up, even a feeling that you're flying, even a feeling that you're levitating, even a feeling that you're lifting and lifting and kicking so hard. Yes, Will, this is a lovely posture, Will. This is fabulous season. Keep on kicking. Drop your right hip down, Aileen. When you're feeling that you lean to the left, you drop it down, even if you fall out. And now begin to bring your left shoulder towards your chin. Touch your chin to the shoulder. That's it, Lily. That's it, Ma. Kick up the leg. That's it, Amber. Don't flatten out in the body too much, Amber. Tip your fingers up a little bit more. Kick by. Kick with Katya, four. Kick three with, with Ma. Two, one, Ooh. done. Well done. Well done. Other side. Left elbow in the waist. The reason you're strong on this side is probably because probably you're right-handed daily. Pick up the foot. Bring your knees together to touch. Inhale with energy. Right arm up, really high, right or back behind your head. Inhale, breathing, and directly kick the leg back behind you like a wheel is going back. Not a wheel to the side, the wheel is going back, 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 and you feel it in your hip flexors. You feel it in the hip flexors. And as you kick the leg back, lose your left shoulder. Allow the left shoulder to be stretched. Allow the left shoulder to be pulled. Allow your left arm, your bicep, tricep to be stretched, stretched, stretched. Well, this is really, very, very, very good today. It's really, very, very, very good. And you kick up the leg a little bit more. Now, pigeon chest your breast up, uh, pigeon breast your chest up a little bit more. Keep on kicking. Yes, Lily. Now drop your right shoulder towards your chin. It's fabulous, Amber. Touch it into shoulder with Mark. Fabulous, Mark. Now kick up the leg. Just hold it well because it's really good. Hold it five with Aileen. Hold it for a season. Hold it three, two, done. Excellent, Will. Excellent, Ma. Breathe. 
Three. Other side. Do we do two or is it done? We did two. Okay, thank you for that. Come to the back of your mat. Let's do Tula, Tula Dan, Tula Dandasana. So inhale your arms up over your head. Interlock your fingers, release your index finger, glue is together. Take a great big step on your right foot, point your left toe, inhale breathing, and then go bring your upper body down, body down, arms up, body down, leg up. Keep on stretching forward, point the toes behind you, body down, arms up, body down, leg up, stretch forward and back, and change. Breathe. Take a great big step, left foot, point your right toe. Inhale, breathing. And then go, you bring your upper bodies down and you keep on stretching forward. Get the chin away from the chest. Point the toes behind you. Body down, arms up. Body down, leg up. Keep on stretching forward. Stretch back and change. Let your arms float down. And you breathe. And you breathe. Inhale your arms above your head, interlock your fingers, release your index, glue your together, take a great big step on your right foot. Point your left toe, inhale breathing, and then go bring your upper body down, arms up, body down, leg up. Keep on straightening the knee, you're doing better, Aileen, but it's quite bent now. Don't bring your body down until you straighten the knee more, baby. That's it, straighten your point the toe. It's looking better when the body's not grand for far perfect will. Stretch forward, stretch back, and change. Very good, everybody's, you know, is hanging out in this, actually. Take a great big step on your left foot, point your right toe. Inhale, breathing, and then bring your body down. When I'm hanging out, it means that you could stay there almost forever, some, some of you. Get the chin away from the chest. Keep on lengthening forward. Barbie, it's lovely. Body down, gorgeous, Lily. Chin away from the chest a little bit more. Stunning will. Point the toe behind you. This one's better. Alien, stretch forward and back. And done. Good for you, Christine. And I meant season. Lovely baby. Let your arms slip down. And take a breath. Let go and breathe. Okay, guys. Let's do Dan, Day, and Man, a bit back. To part of Paschimottanasana. So come and stand on the left hand side of your mat. Inhale your arms up over your head. And please take a great big four and a half steps to the right. Arms down parallel immediately. Turn your toes in, heels out, arms back, chin up, sucking your tummy, and swan dive down, rocking the weight into the front part of your foot. That's the weight, that's where it disappears. Slide your hand on the back of your legs and grab your feet. I don't know, honestly. If I would have known it so directly, unless I couldn't walk. And because I couldn't walk, I started to understand what part of my foot was, was not walking. And it was this front part. And that's why I teach it so strongly. Lift your hips up into the air, grab your feet, bend your elbows and pull. Because this is the part that stabilizes you when you're about to fall and you've got something in your hands. Get the weight, the yes, Amber. Fabulous, Amber. All fingers underneath your feet, a little bit more if you can go, baby. Lift your hips into the air, pull, 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 yes, Will. Pull, 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 yes, Barbie. And change, inhale as you come up. Perfect, Ma. Very beautiful, Lily. And feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go, breathe. This posture has changed for you a lot. None of you really had your body as close to your legs as you do now. It's changed a lot. Let's saturate our brain again with oxygen. Inhale your arms above your head. Great big four and a half, a step to the right. Arms down, parallel, toes in, heels out, arms back, chin up, suck in your tummy. And you go down. As you lengthen forward, lengthen forward, lengthen forward. And get the weight into the toes. And lift your hips up into the air. So you've just done three cardio. So you know your body's filled with all that oxygen. And now you're feeding your brain with it. You see the method in the madness of this? As you get the weight in the toes, contract your thigh muscles. And lift your hips up into the air. Now because your hands are being clamped by your feet, they can't move. So when you bend them, there's only one thing can move, it's your back. And you're opening the vertebrae in your back. Each and every vertebrae, you're working against gravity. Now get the weight into the toes, so you feel like the leaning tower of Pisa. Pull on the heels, that's going to help you with that micro balance so you don't fall on your nonkin. Lift your hips up, bend your elbows, pull one more breath. Inhale as you come up. Very, very beautiful season. Wow. And feet together and arms down and take a breath and let go and breathe. I don't know if you'd like a drink of water. You've been working very hard today, guys. Have a sip of water if you would like it. Before we do trichinastic and triangle pose. So please, <coughs> you have your arms up over your head, take a great big four and a half foot step to the right, arms down parallel immediately. Most important part, hips forward, arms back, turn on the right heel, 
turn them to a half inch more, turn the back foot in a 45 degree angle, inhale breathing, and sit down, sit down, sit down. Um, right, um, excuse me, this posture, Trikonasana, you've got to go through the setup very, very, very well. Move, windmill your arms, guys, windmill your arms. You go to, through the setup very, very well. Look up towards your left hand. Straighten out your left leg. Dig your left baby toe into the floor. Push your right knee back with the help of the elbow. And you're reaching to touch one day in between your first and your second toe of your right foot. But there is no weight against your hand, against the foot. Now look up again towards your left thumb, rolling your eyes up. I want the back of your neck to be long and your chin touching your left shoulder. So the profile of your face will be visible to anybody that sees you from the side. Now stretch your arms in opposite directions like a natural human tug of war. As you reach up, reach down, please change. Hips forward, arms back. Turn on the left heel. Turn the to a half inch more. Back foot turns inward a little bit, 45 degree angle in your breathing. And sit down, sit down, sit down. And soften your tummy and just move your arms. And what the back foot is doing, the 45 degree angle, is angling your knee so your knee is more lined up with your hip rather than your knee facing out and your hip facing out as well. You're turning the hip down and the knee goes with it. Stretch your arms in opposite directions like a natural human tug of war and your chin, touch your chin to the shoulder. Get the back of your neck long. Keep on reaching up with your right hand as high as you can, it's almost lifting your body. At the same time, your left elbow is on the inside of your left knee and you're pushing the knee back, but at the same time, you're reaching to touch in between your first and second toe, but with no weight on the toe. Now straighten out your right leg one more time, reach up, reach down and change. That's three quarters of a minute. Feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go. Whenever you hear me say, that's enough, and I pull you out of posture, it's because I can see a tiring in the posture. And it's better to pull them out rather than get tired because then the posture will, will crumble. <laughs> Second set, inhale your arms above your head. Great big four and a half, a step to the right. Arms down parallel, hips forward, arms back. Turn the right heel, turn to a half inch more. Back foot in, 45 degree angle, inhale breathing. And sit down, sit down, sit down. And suck in your tummy just move your arms and when your elbow gets in front of you stop there and push me back with the help this is a very very good posture will this is a very good posture chin is touching the shoulder you're trying to reach and touch in between your first and second toe just to see where it is sometimes that's it Aileen that's it well you're actually in line and an eighth of an inch off your toe which is beautiful your chin is tucked in the shoulder, lovely profile of your face, Lily. Stretching your arms the opposite direction like an actual human tug of war. Really straighten out your right leg, left leg, rounding your left baby toes into the floor. Stretch your arms in opposite direction like an actual human tug of war. Keep on reaching up a little bit higher. Reach down, change. Ooh. Hips forward, arms back. That was 38 seconds. Hips forward, arms back. Turn the left heel. Turn to a half inch more. Back foot turns in. Inhale, breathing. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Soften your tummy and just move your arms. And why I'm not holding you in it quite the whole minute is this takes, uses every muscle in your body. So it's a very, very powerfully hard posture to do physically. You have just done a lot of the, you know, you've just done this whole set once. So that's why I'm not holding it a terrifically long time. Now look up towards your right hand, straighten out your right leg, dig your right baby toe into the floor, push your left knee back with the help of the elbow, reach and touch in between your first and second toe, but with no weight on the toe, stretch your arms in opposite directions, make sure your chin is touching your left shoulder, roll your eyes up to look up towards your left thumb, right thumb, reach up, reach down, and it's over. And that was 38 seconds as well. And feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go and breathe. I didn't hold you longer because you've done this a lot. And breathe and breathe and breathe so now we've gone all the way through the body we're now at the top of the triangle which is the skull the neck and the skull big toe inhale your arms up over your head hands in prayer cross your thumbs take a three-foot step to the right lift your toes and spin on both of your heels at once now get your chin down suck in your tummy and round over so that's what you did Barbie. you taught this bit rather than the triangle. Once you get the hips forward, you'll know it. Touch your third eye on your knee. And remember, it's your third eye. If you had eyebrows like Frida, it's above those eyebrows. 
third eye into the knee. Not your lips, your chin, your nose, your throat, anything else doesn't work. And you can invite people to be their own teacher. So then you're asking them to get it right rather than allowing them just to dangle there, which they will. Inhale, breathing and round up. This posture affects the vagus nerve and it's not a posture that people like to hang around in. Lift your toes, spin to the screen, lift your toes, spin again, one, two, three, four, five, six, chin down, side your tummy and round over. And get your third down your knee, aim it for your knee. Even if you got to bend the knee a little bit, aim it from top of the knee. The highest part of your knee, yes, Will. Perfect back rounding in your spine. As you suck in your tummy, lift the middle of the spine up to the ceiling. Push the weight of the forehead into your knee. Left hip up and back, right hip down and forward. Inhale, breathing and round up. I'm going to teach the hands in prayer for the second set. Feet together, arms down. Take a breath and let go breathe. Inhale your arms above your head, hands in prayer, cross your thumbs. Please take a three foot step to the right. Lift your toes and spin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chin down, suck in your tummy, and now round over and put your third eye on your knee. Eyes are open, breath is normal. And you know, guys, what saved me in that experience that I had in the old world, what saved me was one thing, forgiveness. As soon as forgiveness comes into your heart, you are saved. Any form of bitterness cannot develop when you have forgiven then no bitterness develops in you. If you don't forgive, then it stores inside of you. Round your spine, push your third eye into your knee, suck in your tummy, inhale, breathing, and then round up. Lift your toes, spin to the screen, lift your toes, spin again, one, two, three, four, five, six, chin down, suck in your tummy, and then you round over. And if you're forgiving somebody that's done something to you, it doesn't mean you've got to go hang out with them. It doesn't mean you've got to go and be their best friend. It's just in your own heart, you let go of any animosity or any sticky feelings and just issue forgiveness. Now get your left hip up and back, right hip down and forward. Once your forehead is on your knee, see if you can push the front knee straight. If the front knee straight, straightens, then you can walk your hands a couple of inches in front of your toes and see if you can get your hands in prayer. Round your spine, but remember the forehead is always on the knee. Inhale, breathing, and please round up. And feet together, arms down. Take a breath, let go, and breathe. Okay, guys, face forward. Straighten out your um, left leg, pick up your right foot, and hold the foot as high as you can. And when I look back in hindsight, over what happened and over what I learned, obviously that whole thing happened to my soul so that I could learn forgiveness. And in learning forgiveness for somebody else, you learn to forgive your own being. And that I understand on a soul level is why all of that happened to me. That much had to happen to me for me to learn forgiveness and change. Straighten out your right leg and pick up the left. Always look at the bigger picture. Always look, and remember, you know, the dark parts of your tapestry, the dark parts of your life, usually they highlight something very, very beautiful. And you breathe. And for me, to learn to forgive myself, to let myself go, was the greatest gift of all. And change. Straighten out your right, left leg, pick up your right foot and let the foot slip in your thigh. Now bend over and get your hands out ready to catch yourself on the ground. And what I believe is also I was given something that I could bear to find forgiveness in. Because there are some things emotionally, if they were given to me, I wouldn't have been able to bear them and I would have just remained crushed. But I was given something that actually I could bear. 
left hand up, right hand up, and change. Lovely, Katia. Lovely balance, baby. Good for you, Amber. Straighten out your right leg and pick up the left. Let the foot slip if you want to and bend over and get your hands out where to catch yourself on the ground. And in hindsight, would I have gone through that road again to get what I got? Of course. Of course. And you lift up your left hand from level your heart. And then lift your right so beautifully, my darlings. And change. Very lovely the way you treated yourself in this yoga then. Honor your incredible beings and then turn around and lay down and relax on your back. You see in the work, there are no good things or bad things that happen to you. It's your point of view of how you look at them. I could not have attempted to awaken without a very, very deep forgiveness towards myself. As you lay down and you let go. The plan, your life, everything that happens is actually perfect for you. You are a being that is growing. You are a being that is learning to wake up. We are all in school, but we all take different exams. That's why you never copy anybody in this life. You do you because we've all got different exams. Nobody's got the same exams, so you never copy somebody else. And one of the things you have to take really true to in your heart is when you know that something doesn't sit right. Mm, it can't really be true, can it? Even though we're being told that this is the new truth and you can look with your own eyes and everything inside you is saying no, trust the no. The outside world, there is an agenda. Your inner world, the only agenda is to wake. The only agenda is to awaken. And that's why as much as we can, we keep falling back into our own being. Now, just for a moment, sense the atmosphere around your body. You know it's there. There are photographs you can have taken of it, Colonel Photography, and they show the aura. But the aura is your atmosphere. The aura is also warm. The atmosphere around your body, you give off heat. Now, you're not getting that heat from anywhere. It's not like you're drinking a, a hot glass of water or you're sitting on a hot water bottle, and that's the heat. The heat is generating from deep, deep, deep inside of your being. This heat is actually you, this awareness, this heat, this light, all of it is you. You manufacture this energy. It emanates from you, which an emanation means that it's manufactured from the source. So the sunlight emanates actually from the sun. It's not a reflection like the light from the moon. The light from the moon doesn't emanate from the moon. It's just a reflection of the sun because the moon is quite dead yet. The moon is being woken up and being fed by energy from its mother, the earth. All organic life started to grow on the earth after it was realized that the moon shot off and was a piece of the earth. This I'm telling you the ancient stories. It seemed a great um, comet was in the wrong place. 
The Saint Alunius did not check that out. And it hit into earth when it wasn't meant to. And the comet was so big and the hit into earth was so dramatic that a whole big piece of earth was knocked off and shot into the atmosphere and it was separated. And as in everything, all and everything, this piece of earth shot off and then it fell back to its initial arising, which is the earth. And it went into the orbit because of the earth's atmosphere. And that in the work is how we said the moon was born. Now the moon is actually Earth's baby. It's a satellite that Earth has to send energy to. And that is why they say that organic matter is grown on Earth because all the energy from the organic matter, when it dies, eventually goes to the moon. Now, when the Earth regains some of its shape and the moon was going around, the Earth had a very big wobble because she'd lost a piece of the moon and she hadn't come back to a full circle. So she had a very big wobble, which was not very good for the planet. One day, as the earth corrected the wobble, a part of the earth opened up and Atlantis was swallowed into the depth of the earth. And that is where Atlantis has gone. And we are taught that Atlantis went down between the west coast of Africa where Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire and Nigeria are on those places and also North America. It's around where the Brazil and everything, which is why Montezuma, I, my name is Azuma. And Azuma, I was taught by my father comes from Montezuma. And that's from the Brazilian connection. Now these, that story I've just told you, is actually a story and it's from mysticism. This isn't a story that's from the yoga or any of those things. This is an ancient story from mysticism. And when Atlantis was swallowed into the earth, not everybody was on that piece of Atlantis. Some of them had traveled to India, North Africa, where Egypt is, and when it was swallowed in, they stayed there. They used to call India Pearl Land in those days. So that is the story of what Atlantis happened. And you know, Plato talks about it and the people they're looking for it. It seems Atlantis did really exist. You are beings made of light. The world you live in is not being told the truth. We are not told the truth. The truth is hidden. And that is to keep generally mankind asleep in the matrix. That's changing. Please pick up your right leg. Interlock your fingers and your thumb, pull the knee away from the rib cage in towards your armpit and get the back of your neck long. And all the ancient knowledge they found of mankind, they hid it in the Smithsonian, pull the knee a little bit deeper, the back of the neck is long, hold, breathe, freeze right there and change. You know Washington is a country within America. And now you pick up the other leg and stock your fingers and thumb, pull the knee away from the rib cage. And where else did they hide them? The British Museum. Do you know the British Museum is in London City, which is a different country than England? Pull, hold, breathe, freeze right there and change. You understand where I'm going? Now you pick up both of your legs, swing your arms around them, and please would you grab your elbows. And the other knowledge is hidden in the Vatican. And the Vatican is another country within Italy. So all of these three places, they are not governed by the laws of the country that those three places are in and change and they've got all mankind and remember all that mankind it's not just the indigenous people that are brown they were brown white blue green you know what i mean pick up your right leg interlock your fingers and your thumb pull the knee away from the rib cage you know there are pyramids in serbia croatia you know they're in russia you know they are also in china but the chinese for some reason they covered them with foliage 
so that they could be hidden, you know, but you would see the outline shape. They are all over our incredible world. As you pull and you hold and you breathe right there and change and pick up the other leg, pull the knee away from the rib cage in towards your armpit. So you know Washington DC, I don't need this DC bit, but Washington, the city of London, Paul and the Vatican are not connected or controlled by the rules of those countries that they are in and change. And now you pick up both of your legs, swing your arms around them, grab your elbows and get the back of your neck really long on the ground and you pull. And why all this knowledge was hidden they had to hide the knowledge that you were divine beings to control us. They had to. The mystics knew. Pull, hold, and change. That's why the mystics went underground. Okay, guys, we're going to do a sit up. Arms over your head, flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Please spin around. And would you lay on your bellies? Hands, palms underneath your shoulders. And you know, Leonardo tried to tell the truth. Leonardo was telling the truth. Hands, palms underneath your shoulders, tip of the fingers, level the top of your shoulders, zip your legs up, push your feet down hard into the floor, inhale breathing, and peel your upper body up. So although Leonardo had to work for the church, you know, the Vatican or that church, lift up, he drew um, the Magdalene. If you look at the Last Supper, you'll see it's clearly a girl. As you lift up, come up, hold it. And then you come down, put your left ear on the ground, look to the right, arms down by your side, and you breathe. And in the stories of mysticism, we are taught that Mary Magdalene is the only woman in the Bible with her own surname. She's not the daughter of Eve, or I mean, the daughter of Adam, or, you know, so always fellas, some chicks, always some fellas' possession. But the Magdalene, no, the Magdalene, she was a high priestess. Chin forward, hands palm down the ground. Zip up your legs. Tighten your bum so hard you could bounce a brick off it. Inhale, breathing, and peel your upper body up. And it is said she wasn't washing Jesus' feet, she was anointing them. And drop the shoulders away from your ears. And drop your head back, navel still on the ground. Feet are hard, push into the floor, hold it. And then come down. Look to the left, arms down by your side, and you breathe. And Michelangelo, Michelangelo, he depicts a very, very interesting story in the Sistine Chapel. Breathe. Chin forward. Turn your hands, palms down the ground. Get your elbows underneath your body. Baby fingers touching. Forget about your left leg. Lengthen out your right leg. Inhale, breathe and go lift your right leg up. And if you ever look at that picture of God reaching down with his finger to touch Adam's finger, you know, God's in the clouds and Adam's down, kind of got his hand in the air, hold and change. Now forget that leg, lengthen the left, inhale, breathe and go lift your left leg up. And in mysticism, we are taught that all that Adam had to do was just lift the tip of his finger to touch God's finger. And he couldn't even do that. Hold it and change. Now face down, kiss the towel, walk your fingers down towards your knees, spread your fingers, grip the towel, zip up your legs. Now inhale, breathe in and go, lift both legs off the floor into the air, push the weight into the shoulders, push the weight into your forearms, push the weight into your fingertips. As you lift your legs up, go up, lift it, lift, 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 lift up, and come down. Release yourself and breathe. And breathe. Chin forward. A lot of you miss this in the dialogue, but it's very useful. They need to know where their head is. Elbows underneath your bodies again. Baby fingers touching side by side. But I'm not going to pick up and nitpick, you know. Nitpicking can be boring. At the end of the day, you get everything. Forget your left leg, lengthen out your right leg long. Inhale and go. Lift your right leg up or point the toe. Turn the right hip down into your forearm. Hold the leg really straight. Activate the foot. Hold it. Breathe right there. And change. Forget that leg, lengthen your left, inhale, breathing, go lift your left leg up. And remember, rock the hip weight into the left hip to keep the hips in one line. Point the toe, activate the foot, work on straightening the leg as much as you can, and change. Face down. 
kiss the towel, walk your fingers down towards your knees, spread your fingers, grip the towel, zip your legs up. Inhale, breathing, and go lift both legs up the floor into the air. Push your face down, shoulders down. As you lift your legs up, go up, lift up. A little bit more up, go up, lift up, go up, breathe up, lift up. One more breath. And then come down. And breathe. Let go. Let go. Breathe. Chin forward. Arms out to the side like aeroplane wings, angel wings, any way you want to tell them to get their arms really straight like a letter T and zip your legs up. Inhale, breathe in and go lift everything on the floor into the air. Arms up low the top of your head. Keep on looking up, lift up, lovely everybody. And go up, arms up, toes and heels together. Lift up, guys. One more lift and then surrender. Let go instantly so you come down, look to the right. Left ear on the ground. And you breathe and you breathe the second set chin forward arms out to the side zip your legs up toes and heels touch now inhale breathe in and go lift everything on the floor into the air arms up lower the top of your head look up lift up go up breathe up toes and heels together as you look up lift up very good arms well one more lift at the top Please calm down. Breathe. Breathe. Good for you, Amber. You know, really um, handling everything at the same time. Typical mum. Chin forward. Bend your legs behind you. Please would you reach around and grab your feet below the toes. Start with your knees touching. Allow your shoulders to just be back already. Now inhale, breathing, and go. Kick your legs up and back. Try to keep lifting your knees up. You're rolling forward onto the middle part of your belly. So on your hips and the lower ribs are on the ground. You're looking up. Now keep on kicking. Gorgeous season. You're kicking your very good, Aileen. You're kicking your arms out of the shoulder socket with one more kick and change. Very good shape. Look left. Breathe. And second set. Chin forward to line up your spine. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Grab your feet from behind. Start with the knees together. Inhale, breathing. And go. Kick up and look up. Well, once your belly's a little bit more. And you keep on kicking up. Very, very good, Lily. And you kick up and you look, look up. That's it. Keep on rolling forward. Keep on kicking. Gorgeous, catchy. Kick, kick. Yes, Barbie. Keep on one more kick. And then come down. Very beautiful, Will. Very beautiful season. Take a breath. Take a breath. Okay. Let's do soup to Vadrasana. Fix firm posture. The healer. Of your knees. Come to the front of your mat, open your toes, open your feet and get your butts on the ground in between. Make sure your feet are facing directly behind you. Put your hands on the top of your feet and go back easy. Hold your elbows over the top of your head and you breathe. Lift your chest up, back of the neck is long. Breathe. And change, come up, put the hands on the top of your feet. Come up easy, turn around, and please lay down and let go and breathe. One of the things that I learned on being thrown out of the old world, it was in this world, that I began to teach myself to love myself. If I'd have been stayed in the old world, I would never have taught myself to love myself. Breathe. Arms over your head and toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. And spin around. Come to the front of your mat again and open your knees and open your feet and get your bottom on the ground in between. And then please go back easy. 
and you lift your chest up. Put your hands on the top of your feet. And remember, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Time is sewn into this posture. If you're ready, you can hold your elbows on the top of your head, get the back of your neck long, keep that gorgeous arch in your spine, that little toy train could go under. If your knees feel great, you can bring them together, but if they still feel tight, you can open them as wide as you want to. And then come up, easy, and turn around and lay down and let go and breathe. Your girlfriend's gorgeous, Will. Let go. And you breathe. All of us have been born in a certain way for our benefits, whether you're born sacred masculine, sacred feminine, or sacred LGBT. You've been born those with those for the benefits that you will get. Arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. So come to the back of your mat and please sit on your knees and your heels they both touch. Inhale your arms above your head, hands in prayer, cross your thumbs, suck on your tummy. And please come down with the straightest spine that you can. And lift your wrists up off the floor to straighten out your elbows. And you breathe. Lengthen forward. Turn this away from the chest. So each one sacred feminine, not strong in many, many ways in our bodies. Lengthen forward, squeeze your knees together. You know, we're given the thing of every soul that comes to the planet, comes to the sacred feminine. Squeeze your knees together, chin is away from the chest. Inhale, breathing, and come up with the straightest, straightest spine you can. And turn around and lay down and let go and breathe. And along with that comes difficulties. Sacred masculine, and it's the same. They're brought up, you know, they can't bend, they've got to carry a lot on their shoulders and they've got to be right in a certain way. It's another thing in the shoulders. Arms over your head, flex your toes back. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. And spin around and come to the back of your mat again. Most sacred masculine have trouble with their knees. Coming down in the full expression. Inhale, your arms up, suck in your tummy, come down with a straight spine. And it's because the knees are punished a lot in um, the strength. A lot of things that can go in the ears of the sacred masculine can make their knees tight. Mm. Now lengthen forward. Get the chin away from the chest. Melt your bottom over the heels of the second set. Lift your wrists up off the floor to straighten out your elbows. And you breathe, suck in your tummy as you lengthen forward. And you know the sacred masculine do the most unbelievable jobs on this planet. Without them, they could never be done. Inhale, breathing, and come up with a straight spine. And turn around and lay down. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and you lay down. And you let go. And we have the sacred LGBT. Sacred feminine is passive, sacred masculine active. Sacred LGBT is the reconciling force. That's what it's called in the work, the reconciling force. Arms over your head, flex your toes back, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, and spin around and come and stand on your knees. And you know the difficulties growing up in many ways and LGBT, if your family's not queued in or your school isn't, you know, we've all got our stuff, is what I'm trying to say. Put your hands on the top of your bottom, your lower back, hips, tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up and drop your head back. Hips and tummy, thighs forward. Roll forward, roll forward, roll forward. Lift your chest up. Keep on the lifting your chest. Remember, somebody's got their hands behind your heart and they're pushing your heart up. And your neck and your head are just like you dropped off the end of the waterfall. Your heart is the top of the waterfall, uh, and the rest of you is dropped off. And you roll forward, you roll forward, you roll forward. Hips and tummy, thighs forward as you lift your chest up. Keep on rolling forward. This posture, you can come out of it whenever you want to. But you're going to work towards it for a minute. Now, very slowly, put your hands back to your hips. And very slowly, turn around, lie down, and let go. And breathe. 
So whatever you're born with, whatever your bag of tricks is, it's up to you what you do with them. Here's a little story. There were two brothers. One of the brothers was highly successful, the top of his field, huge everything, huge success. And the other brother was a total alcoholic, drunkard, couldn't do anything. When we asked the, the brother that was drunk, say, you know, what happened in, to your life? And he went, oh, my, my father, he was an alcoholic. And this is what happened to me. I'm also an alcoholic. And then the other brother was asked, what influenced your life? And he said, my father was an alcoholic. So you understand whatever you are given, what you make of it is what you are. Arms over your head, flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up and take it and spin around and come again to the front of your mat. Open your knees as wide as you can. Keep your heels at six, put your hand on the top of your bottom. Hips, tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up and drop your head back. Roll we'll forward, roll we'll forward. So one brother just fought, you know, followed his father blindly. And the other one, that's what pulled him away. Roll we'll forward, if to do with the brothers. It wasn't really to do with the father. Well, forward, well, forward. Lift your hips up. Very lovely shape you're getting there. Very good shape, Will. Very good shape, Aileen. Well, forward, roll forward. Hips and tummy, thighs forward as you lift your chest up and you keep on rolling forward. Now, very gently, guys, put your hands back to your hips because we work you a lot today. Yeah. And then turn around and lay down and let go and breathe. Let go. I might have slapped my kids if, if I hadn't been hit. But when I was hit, I made the decision, I'm not doing this to my kids. And you don't, but that might make me do it because a lot of people do, they, they just take their kids. It's always down to you. The buck stops with you. You are a divine being and you can switch anything round to make it magical. On the way home, arms over your head and flex your toes back, beautiful. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. And please spin around. So you're going to come to the back of your mat and sit to your knees and your heels. Rabbit. Rabbit, Katya. <laughs> knees touch, heels touch. Reach around and grab your heels from behind, chin down into your throat, suck in your tummies. And then you roll over. And get your forward and your knees as you roll over. Lift your hips up into the end, go into your crown chakra. Yes, Barbie. You've nailed this now, Barbie. You know exactly. Yeah, man, it's gorgeous. And then roll forward, roll forward. You see, the thing is, guys, we can learn different things right until the end of our life, till the edge of our life, till the last day of our life. Perfect posture, Will. Roll forward, gorgeous, Aileen. Roll forward, roll forward. Lift your hips up. Roll forward, one more breath. And change. Inhale as you come up and turn around, lay down, let go and breathe. My teacher wrote the most important book on the planet. In his 80s, he was 83. And he said before he could even attempt to write what he knew he was going to write, he had to drink all of the brandy. And there was a lot that was left in his cellars before he can even make the step to do it. It's a little quirk he has. Arms over your head, let toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale, and spin around. It's because it was so daunting for him. It was so daunting. Comes the back of your mat. Again, sit on your knees and sit on your heels. Chin down into your throat and suck in your tummy. And then roll over. Lift your hips up into the air as you roll over. And what Mr. Gurdjieff mastered was being present, was remembering himself. Roll forward, lift your hips up, shuffle your knees forward. Mr. Gurdjieff did it, Walt Whitman did it. Roll forward, roll forward, lift your hips up. Keep on rolling, guys. Eyes are open, the Buddha did it. Roll forward, roll forward. One more breath, inhale breathing, and come up with a straight spine. Turn around, lay down, 
let go and breathe. Let go and breathe. Remember, you want to be as factual and get as many facts about things as you can. If it doesn't add up, you know there's an agenda. Arms over your head, let your toes back, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, and spin around. You know the whole Bible was taught around where those pyramids were. And not one mention, not one mention in the Bible of the biggest structure on the planet. Inhale up, turn, face the outstretched leg, round over and get a grip of your foot. And pull your toes back toward your face and drop your forehead on your knee. So mm -hmm. now you know that the Bible was like, it's made up stories. Or they would have mentioned it if it's a factual thing, you know that. Now get your forehead on your knee, bend your elbows, dig your elbows into the ground and then lift your heel up off the floor if you can at the end and change. Left leg out, right leg in. Inhale up and turn. Face the outstretched leg round over and get a grip of the foot. You never want to be embroiled in an agenda. If it's not adding up in your eyes and you can see, no, 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 it can't be. Don't buy it. Get your forward on your knee. You may not be able to tell everybody you can't buy it. You may not be able to do that because an agenda is pushing everybody in the same direction with fear. So you may have to shut your mouth, but you know the truth. Elbows into the ground, lift heel up at the end and change. Now feet together, you lay down. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. And grab your big toe, your first and second finger and do the walk back business on your bum. And you walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back. Drop your shoulders away from the ears as you walk back, walk back. And then hinge forward, bring your tummy onto your thighs. And then you're going to bring your chest onto the knees. That's it, Ma. And then get your forehead one day on the shins. It was shins you were looking for, that word, Will. It was shins below the knees. Yeah. And get your forward and the knees. Lovely, Katia. Now lift your heels above the floor, Barbie. It's lovely. Lift your heels above the floor, Amber. See if they come up. See if anything can come up. Even a movement. And change. Turn around. And lay down and let go. And breathe. You are peeling away what was given to you. And what will be left is the true you. The views, your opinions, the words, all of those things were given to you. Arms up your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale and spin around. Your tendency to be a musician is natural to you. Right leg out, left leg in. Inhale up and turn. Place the outstretched leg and grab the foot. My sister's married to a doctor. Two of her four children are doctors. And that's because for those two children, they picked that up from him as you pull your toes back. So that was more in their essence. It wasn't something they were given an opinion of. It was actually in their essence to doctor as well. Lift your heel up at the end if you want to and change. And now left leg out and right leg in and inhale up and turn and face it out, stretch leg around over, get a grip of the foot and pull your toes back. And a girlfriend of mine, she married a guy who had had a vasectomy and she wanted a child. So she went to the sperm bank and she got a certain person and she chose somebody who was a fantastic um, pianist, um, a concert pianist. Get your forward on your knee, pull your toes back towards your face, and if your leg is straight, lift your heel up off the floor at the end, and you change. Feet together, lay down. Inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. <sighs> Grab your big toe, your first and second finger, and do the walk back business on your bum. Walk back, walk back, walk back. And this child that she had is also a genius, but in the, um, the oboe, like that big violin that's on the ground, whatever you call that, the bass but also a genius because that was in her DNA. We all born with gifts, you know, lengthen, lift your heels up off the floor at the end and change. And we call those gifts something that is in our essence. Mm. It means something you were born with. Artists are born with it in their essence. You see somebody create a ridiculous, amazing piece of art. You know, it's, it's in them. Other people can't even sit by a piece of paper. You're driving crazy. Arms over your head. Get your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. And spin around. 
bend your left leg underneath you and do not sit on your left heel. Pick up your right foot and cross it over the corner of your left knee joint. Lift up your left arm over the knee, push the knee out of the way and reach down and grab the knee, the lower knee. If you can, slide your hands in between your ankle and your knee. Reach around with the other arm and hold the top of your left knee. Lengthen your spine and begin to twist. Keep on twisting, lower spine, middle spine, upper spine, total spine. You twist, twist, twist. One more breath. Change. Please bend your right leg underneath you. Do not sit on your right heel. Pick up your left leg and cross it over the corner of your right knee joint. Ankle and knee touching. Lift up your left arm over the knee. Push the knee out of the way. Grab the knee that's on the ground, it's your right arm. Lengthen and begin to twist. Now reach around with the other arm and try to hold the top of your right thigh as you twist. Try to get the spine a little bit straighter, Will, and see if you can edge your foot onto the ground just to see what happens. You don't have to push it all the way. Yeah, the foot that's on the side, it's your um, left foot is on the side. That's it, Will. Try to put the foot down straight as you twist, 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 and change and turn around and lie down and let go and breathe. And the fact that foot doesn't go on the floor yet, Will, as it is in the same relationship to the 45 degree angle in triangle, it's the same movement of the foot. It, now, we'll get your leg straight. Everybody just rest a minute, stay where you are. Lil, we'll get one leg straight, yeah. Now get the arm up and over. Yeah, grab the low and the foot stays. Excellent, Will. So now you know you can start with that. You've got it now with the straight leg, you've got it. It's excellent. And change. And turn around and lay down. Let go. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, guys, arms over your head and flex your toes back. Inhale, breathe in, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. Now spin around and sit on your knees and sit on your heels. They both touch. Spine is straight. Belly's going to go in and out like bellows, but the body's not moving at all. So you inhale, breathe in. And let's go for it. Snap your tummies in and blow, blow, blow. The body doesn't move. The shoulders stay flat, the tummy's in, 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 in. You keep on blowing with the spine straight. You're working all your guts. You're working your liver, the spleen, everything down in the belly area. As you blow, blow, blow for three, two, done. Swallow a couple of times. Moisten your mouth. Inhale, breathing. And let's go for it. Snap your tummies in and blow, 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 blow. Your spine is straight. Let your tummies are in. Blow, 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 blow. Spine straight. Shoulders are down. Hands are on your legs so that your spine is gorgeously straight with your arms straight. Five, four, three, two, done. Gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. Turn around. Melt into the ground. You did a beautiful job. And now this atmosphere around your body, suck it in. Mm -hmm. Self-remembering is being able to divide your attention. Part of your attention is looking at the outside world and part of your attention is focused on you in this world. There are many, many mystics, ancient yogis, ancient poets, ancient storytellers, many, many ancient beings that have told you that we are asleep and they have shown you ways to awaken, whether it's Rumi with the beautiful poems of Rumi. Learn to love this being that you are. Pull your energy field back into your body. It is not useful to give it all away. Keep some back for you. And whenever you remember to do that, remember, whenever you are aware of your own being, you are gathering a certain type of energy 
And this energy is what you will use to awaken yourself completely one day. This is the object of everything you do in this room, every movement that you do, everything, even becoming teachers. You learn the best yourself when you are a teacher. A teacher is the next level of you beginning to understand yourself enough to awaken. You are made of light, you are made of love, and guys, you have worked so hard. I want you to have the most beautiful, gifted, fabulous Saturday. I am honored to be in this space with you. Namaste, my beloveds. I love you. I love you.